Hey everyone, welcome to your university, the place where we talk all about the Dragon Ball universe. Today, we are going to go through Whis revealing that he's afraid of the most powerful Saiyan of all time, King Sadala. And if you would like to see more Dragon Ball content, please leave your like and subscribe to join our university. Without a doubt, a character that is perhaps slightly forgotten by everyone is King Sadala of the planets Adala in Universe 6. Throughout the entire Dragon Ball franchise and series, very little has been said or even mentioned about such a ruler. Whether he is supposed to be someone absurdly powerful, perhaps the most powerful in the entire Universe 6, or someone not necessarily that strong, but intelligent enough to compensate for his physical weakness. Could it be possible that King Sadal is someone so powerful, just being saved to be shown in the future? In today's video, we will talk a little bit about what we know about him and discuss these possibilities. King Sadal is a Sahian king of the planets Adal in the sixth universe. However, he has apparently never appeared directly in the Dragon Ball works in any medium, only via mentions. According to Kyabe, King Sadal has a rather strong and proud personality, much like Vegeta. He was mentioned after Kibi's fight against Vegeta in the tournament, where Kyabe says that the Prince of the Sahians is similar to the king, and Vegeta shows interest in meeting him. In the manga version of Dragon Ball Super, Caulifla's gang attacks. In the manga version of Dragon Ball Super, Caulifla's gang attacks a train carrying gifts for King Sadala, and Kyabe confronts her, calling her to the Tournament of Power. King Sadal is mentioned again in the anime. When Kyabe is almost defeated by Mana, Vegeta saves him, saying that he will not let Kyabe be defeated before he fulfills his promise to take him to the planet Sadala and meet the king. Kyabe is saddened that since one of the universes will be erased, this promise cannot be fulfilled. Vegeta then promises to resurrect the Sahians if he wins the tournament with the Super Dragon Spheres. Later, he is revived when the erased universes have been restored by Android 17 Wish. Planets Adal is a planet in the 6th universe, being the original of the Sahians in the 6th and 7th universes. However, in the 7th universe, the planet was destroyed by fighting between the Sahians, which led to them moving to Planet Plant, later changing its name to Vegeter. Planet Adal was the original home planet of the Sahians, however, it was soon destroyed by internal conflict and discord caused by the Sahians living there. The Sahians who lived on Sadala and survived the fighting moved to another planet, Planet Plant, which they possibly took from the locals and renamed it Planet Vegeta. Sadala is home to the Sadala Defense Force, a squadron of Sahians who defend the universe from villains and settle wars. Kyabe is the best fighter in the Defense Force and was trained by Rensu, a retired former captain. Also in the Dragon Ball manga, there was another mention about King Sadala. Kale and two members of the Caulifla gang attack a transport that was carrying jewelry and food for R.A. Sadala and managed to escape. Later, in their lair, it is revealed that they stole the food to give to the Po Sahian children before Cab arrived to recruit Caulifla to participate in the Tournament of Power. Since we have had very little officially revealed information regarding King Sadal and Dragon Ball, with only a few mentions and possible theories coming from fans, fandom has begun to theorize about not only what this king might look like physically, but how powerful he might supposedly be. Kaba talked about King Sadala in the U6 saga, and it was assumed that he must be quite powerful, since the Sahians are a race of knights in this universe. King Sadal was already hinted at during the U6 saga, and as much as we may think otherwise, it would make quite a bit of sense for Kaba to go get the king. It might even be strange to consider that, because Sadal is supposed to be someone very powerful, he would not be present during the fight. Maybe because he is like Paragus, having already passed his preem and aged with the strength of someone like Kab or Caulifla, which could even lead us to think that there could be, for example, a lost Sadal prince out there as well which would also have been a good choice. But first of all, we should remember that the Sahians in Universe 6, unlike those in Universe 7, are peacekeepers, not conquerors, so there is no reason to assume that a peacekeeper king would necessarily need to be that powerful. He could have been chosen democratically, for example, 
and not through the law of the strongest or anything like that. Cab only mentioned him as someone having a proud personality without exactly citing his strength. As for the existence of a prince, is there really a need for one, let alone one that is necessarily a powerful warrior? The Sahians of Universe 6 are yes peacemakers, but perhaps we can interpret this in another way. How about, perhaps, as a kind of Green Lanterns, where they are basically guardians of their own universe, but are still physically powerful enough to fulfill their roles. They just use their powers for good, to protect, and something along those lines, being more defenders than absolute warriors. As far as the supposed prince, maybe he really does exist, but not because he would necessarily be like Vegeta, for example, but because universes 6 and 7 may just be reflections of each other, and there probably would be a Sadala prince there. In this respect, Kaba's judgment does not necessarily become very reliable. Until the Universe 6 tournament, he didn't know about the Super Sahian's transformations. That said, we can even say that King Sadal is strong, but since the Sahians of Universe 6 are not savages or conquerors, there is less pressure for the ruler to be the most powerful ever. Also, remember that Kaba didn't try to recruit his elderly and physically handicapped master, in this case Kalafla's brother, into the tournament as well. He has no idea what awaits them. That said, in front of the others, they would probably be embarrassed, to say the least, or completely shocked by the differences between the universes. However, none of this is to say that they couldn't become powerful. With a slight kick from the script writers, this would be possible. Possible. They could make the King of Sadal especially powerful. As a Sahian, even if they are not or follow the same lifestyle as those in Universe 7, they are still defenders, and that takes a lot of energy, physical strength, and stamina. If they have people of the Freezer race like Frost, for example, or other hit threats around, we could even consider their power level. The only reason Renzo got injured was because they needed a way to send Kaba to Kalafla and Kaba has to look for someone he likes, but is injured and out of the picture. However, if it was written in a different way, they could just make the king powerful enough. When we look at Vegeta's age, by our count he is close to 50 years old at this point in time. Perhaps, in Universe 6, he is already quite old, having passed his preen quite a while ago. Since the Sahians of U6 evolved quite differently, they may even have lost the characteristic of remaining in their preen, that is physically well in the sense of appearance and power for more than 100 years. Since such a characteristic existed since they were a warrior race, it is possible that they may have evolved this over several and several years since it required them to keep fighting for a long, long time before they officially needed to retire and rest. From what we saw of the Sahians of Universe 6, when Kaba went hunting for Kalifla, we realized that they are not very aggressive or savage enough for such a fighting style. Fighters like this, in the face of other characters we have seen in Dragon Ball, can even be considered simply weak. However, this doesn't mean that they are idiots. In fact, they can be clever enough to compensate for their weakness compared to the others, just by following a leader who seeks to keep the peace and protect his people at all costs. Maybe all he was trying to do was to stop all the fighting and try to convince Sano that what he was doing was wrong, like a kind of Gandhi, a Gangeta, or whatever you prefer to call it. This could lead to the immediate exclusion of all universes to avoid more problems like this. There was even a theory on the internet that King Sadala supposedly knew the powers of a super Sahian but hid them from his people, knowing that this could become a problem in the future. Perhaps there was even a legend or past tales among them that the warrior who awakened wildly and powerfully would nevertheless become someone ruthless and bloodthirsty, loving battles more than anything else. That said, he could easily fear that some of them would turn into Super Sahian, and such a story would be true. Supposedly, it must be how the Sahians of Universe 7 became so savage. After all, they lived desperately trying to obtain the most powerful form of the Sahians, which caused them to fight madly, allowing them to literally transform wildly over time. Well, it's not exactly a very impossible theory to be true, or at the very least come very close to it. But is King Sadala really a weak Sahian? Or could it be that, because he is a proud person to the point of reminding Vegeta, he may have had a desire for power, and this may have caused him to become the strongest in his universe, or something close to that, just enough to protect his people. We don't have enough information yet to say either way, but let us know
know in the comments what you think about both ideas. That's it, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for videos don't forget to comment here below, because I'll be reading all of them as I always do. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your university.